Hi, welcome to Shade of Jade. I'm Jade, and I feel a little stupid because the last haul that I did, or not haul, but I was showing my Sephora favorites in a video. I'll link it down below if you want to see what my recommendations were for that sale, even though the sale's over now. They're still good products. Um, I said I was only going to probably repurchase items I already loved, and now I feel stupid because I'm a liar, and I went in store, and I went on site, um, and then I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm going to do an order. Well, unfortunately, I did two orders. The first order's here, and the second order won't be here until Friday, it says on the tracking. So I thought, you know what, I just want to do, I'll just do a, two parts of this. So this is my first part of what I bought at the Savora VIB sale because everybody else seems to be getting them out, getting them out, and I want to get at least one out so so I'm on something. And I, I, you know, missed last week posting anything. I was super busy. I apologize. I want to get at least one video out a week, guys. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a... Showing you what I got from that from that sale. I am a Rouge member, so it, it's exciting. I get 20%. I got 20% off all these items. And before I start, I want to get a little drink. I am drinking a Shorts Brew Bel Air Brown Classic American Brown Ale. It is a Michigan beer, I believe. I'm from Michigan. Um, I went to a hotel with my husband this last weekend to celebrate our 12 year wedding anniversary. And um, they served this at the hotel. They gave us four of these in our room and they're so good. Now I'm addicted. So I had to go out and find them. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we get started, don't forget if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notifications like this video if you like it push you don't like it if you don't like it that's fine with me also all of these things are easy take little to no effort and are free and they help a girl out so I'd appreciate it and if you want to go ahead and be MVP write a comment down below all right so for the first item I'm going to share I finally got the Kosas Cloud Set Bake Setting Powder and Smoothing Powder. Now, my favorite powder of all time is, of course, Miss Charlotte Tilbury's uh, powder, airbrush flawless finish powder. But I thought I would try something for an everyday look. Um, so I tr uh, let me try this out. It's a cushiony sheer golden medium is the color I purchased. And this is my first time opening it up. Look at the packaging. It's pretty. And. Oops. Come on. There we go. And this is the color. It looks, it's picking up a little yellow on the screen. But I do think it's going to work for me. Especially because I keep losing my tan from the summer. Here is the color on my finger. Let me see if it, oh yeah. You see, you you can't see it, and that's what I'm going for. I want something that you can't see, but let's see if it actually, you know, gives me a good finish, fills in some pores, gives me some airbrush. I don't know, but after I do my two parts of what I purchased from the Sephora VIP sale, I will definitely come on here and try the, this, these new products out for you guys, okay? So, next product, I got the KVD Vegan Beauty Mod, Mod Con Liquid Gel Contour. Now, this interests me because, first of all, I've never tried anything from KVD that I didn't like. Second of all, it's a gel contour. So, I wanted to see what that was about. What color did I get? I purchased Tan Neutral 30, and this is my first time seeing it. So, this it comes with a wand. Let's see the consistency. Oh yeah, it is a gel. Ooh, it, it picks up like a, 
like almost like a tiny bit of a red cool color oh yeah I think this will be right on the money for me if I blend this in right this could work for me definitely I am excited I'm usually um, a Huda Tancher contour gale but I thought I want to try something new. I always want to try something new when they have good reviews. Why not? Um, speaking of trying something new, so last time I had a Sephora haul, it wasn't during the sale, but I did share with you guys that I purchased the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which, you know, obviously everybody knows is wonderful. I was late to the game, of course, per usual, and I tried it, and it's fantastic. Um, I have been hearing really good things about the Makeup Forever HD powder. I definitely want to try that. But I've also been wanting to try the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. So I finally purchased that in the small size to see if I like it. I did hear this is more for like glam looks. So like going out or you want to look like a full beat. Um, I, yeah, I did get translucent. So it does come like in this little case here, little pink top, cute, does have a seal. I'm not going to open it and waste my product, but I mean it's powder, it's translucent. I will try that on within the next couple weeks and share it with you guys, tell you what I thought. Um, next two products I'm going to show you are Sephora products. Um, during the sale, this all Sephora products to everybody, I believe, whether you were insider to Rouge, um, all of their Sephora products were 30% off. So, of course, I had to get a, couple, a few Sephora things to try out. Um, my tried and true Huda, Huda, Huda setting spray is my favorite. But I thought, well, one, I'm going to give Sephora Setting Spray a try. So I bought the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray 16-hour wear transfer-proof sweat and humidity resistant with ginseng extract. Those are a lot of words, a lot of claims, and I'm going to try this out and see if I like it. Actually, you know what? I didn't put setting powder or setting spray on. And... I'm going to put it on right now. Let's just give it a roll. Because, you know, with setting sprays, you have to try them a few times before you actually know. So let this be the first time. Okay. Okay. No scent. So if you're a non-scent girl, this is for you. The spray, I mean, it's it's a spray. It, it's not spotty or anything, so that's always a thumbs up for me. So we'll see how I like this, how it actually... Let me give it more of the nose because the nose gets, gets a little oily. There's never enough spray in the world for me to put on my face. Oh, yeah. Um, so Huda, you know, they have the scents. I personally love scents, but I'm okay with unscented. This is completely no scent. So if you have a problem with scents and you want to try something from Sephora, you know, they're a little, they're a little cheaper than all their other pricey items. Try it out. See if you like it. Um, another Sephora product that I bought was the Sephora Rouge Melting Lip Clicks. So... I tried to start opening it so I wouldn't be on camera struggling. Okay. I want to open it so I can see if it has the color name on it and then we can swatch it. So, no color name? I just picked a color that I thought would be nice. Okay, there it is. Number two creme brulee is what I picked. So, well, you pop the top off, it comes like this, and, oh, you click it. There it goes. Oh, that's cute. That's cute, cute, cute. Let me do it on this hand. Swatcheroo. Okay, so it is very sheer melting lip click. So I guess it's more like a gloss. 
you touch it. Oh yeah, that's going to be like a colored gloss. I like a real natural, like brown nude, any kind of peach nude. So, I mean, this will be good if it works, which I will let you guys know and we'll try it on a future video. Okay, so that's it for the makeup because like I said, I'm doing two parts because the second haul is too. The second mail-in haul is taking forever, but I did get this, and I'm super excited. It is the Forever Mood by Jackie Ina, and it is a, it comes with four candles, and this is like the packaging. It's super cute, like I want to keep the packaging. It says, open to get lit. And then inside it says, in your kitchen, in your bedroom, or in your bathroom, you decide. XO, XO, Jackie Ina. So, four candles are in here. Oh, I'm like a candle freak. They're all this size. This one says skinny dipped. Mmm. They smell so good. This one says, hey, big head. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one says grown folks business. And then last we have we not Lincoln. Lincoln spelled L-I-N-K-I-N. -I oh yeah. This one's Christmas for sure. Um, we are Lincoln is very Christmas, um, almost like a pine cone vibe. Crown, grown folks business. Well, I don't know. Does it tell you somewhere? Let me see. No, it doesn't. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, that one smells good too. This one's very subtle though. Um, let's see. Skinny dipped. Oh, this one's subtle as well. Oh, they all smell so good. I don't even know how to, I don't know how to explain scents, guys. I, I apologize. I'll, leave, I'll look it up and then I'll leave it down below in the description box what they're supposed to be. And this one's more, is a little bit strong. So the Hey Big Head and the We Are Lincoln are, are the strongest ones. But this one's more like a Christmas smell. This one's more like a caramel vanilla. All right, guys, so that was it for my haul, part one. I do have more stuff coming in the mail, like I said, um, and I will share that with you in my next video. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment in the comment box down below. Love you guys. Bye.